provide the type new urban planning or infrastructure provision of affordable housing, Nigeria will have a great opportunity to unlock the potential in housing sector for the benefit of the population and the whole economy. With this initiative, the government is creating a new opportunity to grow the capital market. Housing sector cannot prosper without the capital market. The two segments are interconnected. We believe Nigeria Morgan Refinance Company will be a great agent for change of the capital market by being a recurrent issue for long-term bonds. We hope soon mortgage will be available and more importantly affordable. The objective is to get mortgage at the single digit interest rate. I repeat, the objective is to get mortgage at single digit interest rate. The creation of Nigeria Mortgage Refinance Company will help to deliver this noble objective. I know the authorities at the capital market will be delighted. I know Arama Ote, I think he is in this room, is long time passionate about housing since our time at African Development Bank. I think now is the new time to make it happen at the single digit and correct way. So correctly, the Pan-African Housing Finance operating in more than 30 years in 34 African countries is really pleased to be associated with this initiative. We'll be one of the will be one of the shareholders of Mortgage Refinance Company and will provide our expertise and experience to make the initiative one of the best in terms of implementation and the quality of service for the targeted population, mainly for the middle class and lower middle class. In addition to that, Central Africa will continue to support primary mortgage institution, Federal Mortgage Bank, I salute uh, its chairman, Mr. Dr. Obunjobi and the Federal Housing Authority in order to improve its capability to do more mortgage financing and the provision of affordable housing. Our action will be deepened and extended to the promotion of public-private partnership for affordable housing. We will engage the executive governors of state to promote this type of vehicle in order to produce more affordable houses to support civil servants, nurses, policemen, and others. To show our support and our conviction in the new housing policy in Nigeria, Shelter Africa will sign today a document that will officialize the opening of its regional office to get closer to the key players and provide the best services possible to all players, including private developers and cooperatives. The whole idea is to increase the supply of affordable houses for more social and economic achievement. We will increase our financing and share with all the African countries the good news coming from Nigeria from through the creation of Nigeria Mortgage Refinance Company. This is one of the roles of share therapy by making sure African countries are sharing good practices. I wish Madam Wedi can speak to African Finance Ministers and Housing Ministers to encourage them to emulate this impactful initiative. We need her leadership to push a bigger agenda for housing in Africa in connection with our engagement for an economic and social transformation of our city for the betterment of our population. I am really impressed by the commitment of the leadership over the last two years on the creation of Mortgage Refinance Company and the other reform for the promotion of affordable housing. I am really op optimistic that the effort will yield lots of fruit and the impact on the population will be very positive. I can say this initiative needs to be replicated again in all African countries in order to support the development of financial intermediation for the housing sector, the whole economy will be better off, particularly for job creation 
and promotion of wealth creation for families by growing their assets and supporting their families and their relatives as usual in Africa. As Shelter Africa, we consider this initiative as one of the best news for housing sector and the whole economy in Africa. I am not surprised to notice how the coordinating minister is engaged in this initiative. She understood the potential that housing has to support the whole Nigeria economy to reach a new step change around 9 to 10% economic growth per year. To conclude, let me restate again, we are really pleased for this initiative and this initiative must succeed. Housing sector should grow quickly in Nigeria and we believe all African countries have to learn from Nigeria from this uh, initiative and I hope your finance minister, your housing minister will help us to, 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 to make sure this initiative is well reported to the all African countries for a good animation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in a short while we have a short documentary that actually tells the story in a pictorial form. It take a few minutes to watch the documentary. other countries, housing and the development in the housing sector really have to create jobs, uh, something to believe in, in the country, because everybody wants their own home. And putting in place a system, the NMRC, will kick in more liquidity, more resources into the economy so that private mortgage institutions can lend more and uh, give out more mortgages within the country. The public-private partnership in the Nigeria Mortgage Refinance Company will transform the mortgage market in Nigeria as we have seen in other countries such as Asia. I have no doubt that the same can be achieved. In this step, the government of Nigeria is taking four fundamental steps to provide an inclusive housing market. Prudent fiscal policies by the government will continue to produce a reduction in inflation and impact on market conditions. This macro policy, in line with state improvement to land administration, is the foundation to housing access for all. By creating access to finance, the suppressed demand is transformed into effective demand. The housing and mortgage markets become more inclusive when financial innovation takes the lead. This will increase housing access to a larger percentage of the population. About five years ago, we had the desire to live in our own house. So we decided that it's better for us to buy a property that is already built. But the finance was an issue. So we approached our mortgage bank. We came back home, we put pen to paper, so we got the loan finance, the properties of the documents were submitted to the bank, and the payment was done. Here we are, we live in our own house. The loan I took, I deposited for planks. The building will be roofed this weekend. They will start the roofing, they will bring the planks this weekend, by Monday we start roofing. And uh, the remaining part of the loan was used for the Nigeria sort of the sheet, the roofing sheet. So with that, I think the house will be 80%, uh, let me say 90% completed. <laughs> 